Hey everybody, welcome back to Simply Sarissa. Today we are kicking off the monthly favorites again. My apologies, I did take a few months off. Uh, it's just hard sometimes to find favorites and if I don't have a true favorite, there's really no point in making a monthly favorites video. But I have slowly started to find some goodies again. So this month for October 2021, my favorites are, as usual, five different categories. And then I have a new category I'm adding. It's called Your Favorites. So what I'm going to do is go through my statistics from my clickable links and let you know what your favorites were for the month. And generally, they're going to be clothing, accessories, stuff like that. But you never know. So it's a good one and I am going to leave that one towards the end. I think this time So let's get started right now with Accessories now you're gonna be like I'm sick of this Sarissa stop talking about it <laughs> But I can't I can't stop because these backpacks are out of hand and they are truly a monthly favorite and I kept both of them which is kind of embarrassing but I'm using them both every week and so this was the one I've been wearing for the last few days. This is the one that um, I also wear all the time and they are so great. I have now traveled with them. They're incredible. And one thing I didn't show you before is they have these really cute little side zippers that I love keeping my keys in. So that way I'm not digging around for, you know, my keys in the bottom of like a big bag. And so I just slide it in, slide it out really convenient. They have held up well. I literally get compliments upon compliments every time I use one of these. So full price $35 at Target. And when I was in the other day, they actually came out with two more colors. I saw an all black one and a really pretty tan one. So if you're really not into the prints, then they do have solid options as well. Either look in your local Target or I'll link a link, uh, excuse me, put a link below for you. Next category is like what I call my face and body. Sometimes it is products for, you know, like my skincare. Sometimes it's facial care, hair care. This time it's makeup. Um, the first one I want to talk about is this Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush. Let me get a little closer for you. The blush itself is called Seychelles, Seychelles. But look at that pretty color. It is so soft and beautiful. It's actually the color I'm wearing right now. Um, it's probably not a great representation. I've been out and about all day. I'm gonna try to smack a little bit more on for you. <laughs> but what I love about it is, first of all, lasting power. Secondly, it's just a very muted, kind of a mauve color that goes with just about anything. And don't be fooled. If you look at Sephora, by the way, they're gonna be having their VIB sale coming up in the next couple weeks, um, or Ulta. It, I believe full price, it's $23. So worth it though. I think this is gonna last me a really long time. Um, the color will look off to you. When you look at the colors, there's different options, by the way, and they're all beautiful. Um, this is going to look almost brown. It's gonna look like more of a bronzer when you look at the sample color online. It is not that, and I'm so glad that I took the chance and I was influenced by another influencer. This um, Seychelles color is amazing. So I'll put the Sephora and the Ulta link for you below because again, Sephora is gonna be having sales and Ulta usually has good offers as well. So, so good, I love this. The other makeup thing is a little bit more affordable and I did feature this at the end of one of my clothing hauls um, a few months back. It is the Makeup Revolution Emily Edit. Now this is not a new collaboration at all. She's incredible, I love her. Um, this is an old collab but Target picked it up because it is so good. $15 and it's a really nice kind of well-made plastic, tr very travel friendly palette. And it's got a really good, this whole thing is a mirror. So it's a good full size mirror that you can see your whole face. Really good for traveling as well. And now I'm seeing I put too much blush on. <laughs> the camera washes me out, but when you look in the mirror, you're like, ah. All right, so let me see if I can do this for you. So it has a beautiful bronzer, a really beautiful kind of, um, just peachy kind of orangey toned blush that's really flattering goes with a lot as well really great for fall a really soft nice highlighter and then three color options for your eyeshadow and this whole thing is fifteen dollars it's incredible oh and this kindness up here 
it's a little bit bigger of a um, powder you can actually use it in a pinch as like a face dusting powder or an under eye powder if you really need to so really it's so good and the dark color has a uh, passion has a little bit of a um, glitter in it but not too much at all nothing that's going to fall off i haven't noticed a ton of fallout i'm in love with this palette and i have traveled with it enjoyable uh target 15 dollars Let's move into uh, home. Now this is a little bit of an interesting one and I got this set at Costco on sale. So Costco still is carrying this nine piece OXO, um, I guess you would call them food storage containers. And the nine piece set is absolutely incredible. Full price Costco, I'll put the link below, is $59.99, uh, which is still about $20 to $30 cheaper than anywhere else you're gonna find a nine piece set. I am in love with this thing and it has been a true game changer for my pantry. I'm almost ready to show you what my pantry looks like now. But this has been awesome and I actually went as far as to put labels on them and it's saving me money because I can see, oh, I have this much flax seed. It's going to last me like a year or, you know, my oats are now almost gone. So now I can see very quickly when I open my pantry, instead of digging around through bags, not knowing how much of a product I have left, I can see that I need to add that to my grocery list really quickly. So not only did it um, get me more organized, it's actually saving me time, energy, and money because I often double buy products because I'm worried that I'm gonna run out. And then I end up finding bags full of it in the back of my pantry. And now by decanting everything and just putting everything into these types of um, clear bins and they're square so they fit and they stack, Ah, oh, I can't speak highly enough of these things. All right, the next category is food. And I actually have a recipe and an Instagrammer that I want to link you to. Um, let me just talk about that first. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, I did a post on this most incredible, I believe she calls them chocolate chip banana bars, banana chocolate chip bars. Look at this incredibleness. Let's see if it'll zoom in for you. This is the most sweet, dense, rich banana goodness I've ever seen. And this frosting is literally brown butter. Uh, it's supposed to be brandy frosting, but I did a bourbon vanilla and a little bit of whiskey in it. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, I got a bite. This is just incredible. If you like bananas, if you like chocolate, so, so good. So again, this is a recipe. And um, the lady who made it, her name is, she goes by Kroll's Corner. And she has, I believe, a uh, blog that she does, a website. She also is on Instagram. So I'm going to put all of her links below, including the link to that recipe. And all I did to make it gluten-free was use my own products that I have in the house and swap them out. So I use a one-to-one -one gluten-free flour and then made sure that my chocolate chips and everything else that I have in my house are gluten-free as per usual and it worked out really well the only thing i had to do differently was i just uh upped the cooking time which is something that if you're familiar with cooking gluten-free you often have to cook everything a lot longer than you would if you use a traditional flour so that recipe is so delicious if you're into that uh, now let's talk about an actual food item you can purchase this was a surprise find for me i actually found it at whole foods a couple months ago we tried it, we loved it, and then I thought, let me just double check. So I bought it again this month, and we've already gone through one more bottle. This is my backup. I paid about $4 for this bottle. It is the San J Gluten-Free Teriyaki Sauce. You are not going to miss any flavor or texture with this um, because it's gluten-free. It is incredible, and if you know that you... If you have to do gluten-free, you know that um, a lot of products in this department are very hard to find. And so whenever you can find um, any kind of like a stir fry or teriyaki or soy sauce that is gluten-free, then you gotta grab it. And this one is delicious. Again, it's San J. And a few other stores might carry it, but I looked and currently it's really hard to find like on Walmart and that kind of thing. Um, but any links I have to it, I'll put below for you as well.
All right, now let's get into the clothing section, but this is also this month, hilariously, it's going to be your favorites as well. I picked out the favorites that I wanted to show for the video, and it turned out that one of them, well, actually two of them, were your favorites as well, based on analytics and how many times the link was clicked. Now this sweater, oh, it is uh, from my loft haul that I did uh, just a couple weeks ago. Let me look at the price on this. The um, top was $59.50 regular price, but as of today, they have a coupon code or you know, like a link that is 50% off with an additional 15% off. So again, never pay full price at Loft. I got this in the, I believe it's called Heathered Oatmeal. I got it in a size small. I generally size down when I shop at the Loft. This sweater I've worn multiple times and I love it because, sorry, I have a shoe behind me that you're gonna hear. I can wear it out if I want super casual, but because of how like loose and open it is, I can also front tuck it very easily. And it's light and thin enough that I could actually do a full tuck if I wanted to. And it has that really fun detail that has like the buttons that go all the way up. Now this sweater, hands down, when it, we've had colder days, this is the first sweater I go to. It is not itchy, it has this beautiful v-neck so it doesn't feel choky on me at all. Just incredible, I, I love it, I love it, and it goes with absolutely everything. Now, the runner-ups, I just wanna quickly go through and show you, were also, uh, one was from Lou and Gray, which is also a loft brand. Lou and Gray is known for their like buttery soft fabrics, and this is a very similar kind of a feel to this sweater, um, except for it's a hoodie, and it has the V-neck, which also makes it lovely. It also has like the side split, and it's long enough to cover your rear end if you want to wear like leggings or tighter pants or put it on with skinny jeans. It's so good. It as well is, I believe, like $59, but again, on sale. And then you also have like an equal number. So um, this one, this one I've been showing on an offer a couple months and it's still available at Target. I believe it was around the $20 range and I, uh, they had a color, couple color options. And I believe, oh my gosh, oh, one size fits most. And this I've again worn so many times. I've worn it over like the, my skinnier dresses. I've worn it over leggings. I've traveled with it. It's super good. So um, if you haven't seen those videos, I'll link them below just so you can see them like a little bit more tried on. Uh, but then I'll also uh, put the links to these um, at items as they're available. I'll put those there too. These shoes, you guys, $29.99 full price, Target. They have multiple color and finish options. These booties have been so incredible. I actually even bought a second pair for a family member and they're in love with them as well. They kind of have that faux suede with the little like, I forgot the name of this, but where they have the little holes kind of poked into it, um, but they are definitely lined so you don't feel that going through. I sprayed mine with a Scotch Guard. I've worn them so many times already. Again, traveled with them. They go with everything. They're incredible. Such a great uh, look for less for a lot of other booties that I've seen higher end. Oh man, Target was on the money with that. All right, we're gonna end with our fail. And I, I feel so bad because this brand is so well known and um, so well loved that I had never dipped my toe in it though and I purchased two items from her. It's the Charlotte Tilbury. I actually finally purchased one of her Pillow Talk lip liners and I'll talk more about that in another video. Um, I love the color of it. I love the texture and how it feels on me but I do have issues with that as well. But this airbrush flawless setting spray, <laughs> well, this has so many, I guess they're polymers in it that basically bind together and bind to your makeup. That picture it is almost creating like a mask for your face. So that's kind of how it works in my terms. It sort of just creates this like invisible shield type of thing uh, with your makeup. The problem is I have, first of all, oily skin. So any makeup setting spray is not gonna work in the way that I would want it to as if somebody who had normal or dry skin. 
um, and they never do. I have issues with other setting sprays as well, so oftentimes I end up using things like MAC Fix Plus or just like a rose hip water if I wanna kinda meld my makeup a little bit, but I, I just can't use these very well, and I was hoping that I could use this. I bought the big one, it is $35 full price, um, but I heard it lasts a long time and you don't need a ton. It's beautiful packaging, it's really nice. Um, it, it does have a smell and um, the sprayer works pretty well. It's a little bit of a floral smell, not everybody likes it. Um, and the sprayer, man, it like really goes for it if you're into sprays. So here I am, biting the bullet here, putting it on for you. My problem is this, as soon as I spray this on, and I've done it with a powder foundation, I've also done it with um, my regular foundations. I don't use primers. I've tried it, you know, as simple as I can go. No matter what I've used with this, it actually starts to like gum up my makeup instantly, like right after I've applied it, right around, especially my chin here and here on my nose. And then when I say gum up, like right here, it starts to look like, you know, those masks you put on that kind of dry and once they dry, they turn like gooey and you peel them off like rubbery. That's what this is doing to my makeup. It's doing it instantly, like within seconds of me applying it. And you know, right after I do my makeup, all along my chin line, it's, it's not good, you guys. Not only that, but with all these polymers, um, I can actually feel it on my face all day long. I can feel like that there is this like, it doesn't feel sticky, but it feels almost like I have some form of plastic or um, a, a film on my face and it just doesn't feel right to me and it feels like it's making my wrinkles worse if, you know, because when something's blocking and not moving as well, you're gonna see your wrinkles. So, unfortunately, this supposedly amazing airbrush flawless filter is not that for me. And so if you love it and if it's working well for you, uh, let me know. But if you don't and there's something else that you like instead, please let me know because I do like the idea of putting a spray on my face, but that's often why you see me talking about like rose water and you know those types of things instead of this type of stuff because they generally don't work for me. So I'm sorry, Charlotte Tilbury. I'm sure many, many of your products were great, but this was just an epic fail for me personally. All right, everybody, that does it for me for my October 21 favorites and fails. I appreciate your time. I just thank you so much for being here. And if you have not yet subscribed, please make sure you do so before you leave. All right, until next time, I'll see you soon.